हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गेस्ट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रियल टाइम इंटरप्राइज नेटवर्क ट्रबल शूटिंग सेनारियो दैट एवरी नेटवर्क इंजीनियर मस्ट नो लुक एट दिस सिंपल टोपोलॉजी स्विच वन इज कनेक्टेड टू स्विच टू अवर अ ट्रंक लिंक बट समथिंग अनएक्सपेक्टेड इज हैपनिंग हियर बोथ स्विचेज बिकेम the root bridge for vlan 10 yes both switches are root bridge for vlan 10 in real enterprise network this will be your top priority ticket because a spanning tree must elect only one root bridge per vlan right so why is this happening why both the switches are root bridge for vlan 10 let's understand in this video see here in my lab both switch switch 1 and switch 2 are saying i am the root bridge let's verify it first let me show you the output of switch 1 first so a spanning tree for vlan 10 and here you can see it saying i am the root bridge this is root this bridge is the root similarly on switch number 2 also you can run this command so a spanning tree for vlan 10 so a spanning tree for vlan 10 and here you can see this bridge is the root means both the switches are root bridge for vlan 10 it mean what it mean there is some issue right maybe in the configuration right maybe in the cable right there is unidirectional connectivity between switch 1 switch 2 but there can be cable faulty as well and this is very common issue in hsrp also many time you will see that multiple switches are showing active active right it mean what it mean hsrp messages is not getting exchanged between the switches right similarly here between switch 1 and switch 2 stp hello message which is bpdu bpdu is not getting exchanged between switch 1 and switch 2 that's why both the switches are saying i am the root bridge right if switch 2 will receive superior bpdu or switch 1 will receive superior bpdu then it will not declare their self as a root bridge if both the switches are saying i am the root bridge it mean what it mean they are not able to exchange bpdu for vlan 10 right switch 1 is not able to send uh, bpdu for vlan 10 to switch number 2 as well as switch 2 is not able to send bpdu of vlan 10 to switch number 1 that's why both the switches are showing uh, root bridge but why they are not able to exchange bpdu what can be the reason behind it so guys there can be any reason let me tell you most common reason first right when i started investigating this issue in the production network i found that vlan 10 was not allowed on the trunk link on switch number 1 right and i have troubleshoot these kinds of issue multiple time in the production sometime um, you will see native vlan mismatch because of native vlan mismatch also you will find this kind of issue both the switches will show you uh, what root bridge right you will find multiple root bridge in your network so native vlan mismatch can be the one reason vlan is not allow on the trunk link can be the reason there can be issue of cable faulty right let's suppose tx or rx port is not working well on switch 1 or on switch number 2 the port is faulty or the cable pin is faulty in that case also trunk link will be up it will show you the status is up but they are not able to exchange bpdu right so let's understand all possible reason based on real time enterprise network so reason number 1 vlan 10 is not allowed on the trunk link let me write here right and i have discovered this issue only so that's why i am keeping it on top right and sometime interviewer can also ask with this question right i have two switches both are directly connected with each other over trunk link and the both the switches are showing root bridge right for one, one particular vlan how you will troubleshoot what can be the reason right so reason number 1 can be can be what that vlan 10 is not allowed on the on the trunk link if vlan 10 is not allowed on the trunk link in that case definitely switch 1 cannot send bpd or vlan 10 to switch number 2 on the trunk link number one reason so you will verify the vlan 10 is allowed on the trunk link or not for an example here 
so interface trunk and you can see here all the VLANs are allowed uh, on the trunk link g0 slash 1 is trunk and all the VLANs are allowed here similarly on switch number one also you will verify right I will troubleshoot it don't worry right first we'll see a step by step how we can identify the issue and after that I will fix it okay so if VLAN 10 is not allowed means it is removed from the trunk link right it can also cause the issue right and you have to fix it immediately right so switch 1 can't receive stp bpdu for vlan 10 from switch 2 similarly switch 2 can't receive bpdu for vlan 10 from switch number 1 if vlan 10 is not allowed on the trunk link so both the switches will think that i am the root bridge if switch switch is not receiving superior bpdu from any switch any other switch it means i am the root bridge okay so each side you need to verify the trunk link that makes your vlan is allowed on the trunk link or vlan is not removed from the trunk link number two reason which is again the most common reason and most of the time you will find native vlan mismatch error right in case of hsrp in case of uh, vtp sometime in case of um, all layer 2 protocol you can say all layer 2 protocol stp right native vlan mismatch very common reason right if the trunk port you are configured uh, oh, sorry native vlan on the trunk link is not same both side right let's suppose native vlan on switch number one is 10 and native vlan on switch number two is 20 in that case what will happen switch one will send bpdu of vlan 10 to switch number two and switch two will think that this is the bpdu of vlan 20 right this is vlan 20 bpdu because for native vlan switch is not going to perform tagging right so both side make sure native vlan is same if the trunk port use different native VLAN, then BPDU may not be exchanged properly for certain VLAN. And this can also cause both switches to believe they are root. They are the root bridge. The another common reason is like sometime misconfiguration of BPDU filter. BPDU filter configuration or uh, BPDU guard misconfiguration. guard mesh configuration right this can also cause same issue right another reason can be stp incorrect stp mode mixing like pvst pvst plus rapid expansion mst sometime if you are using the mix mode you have to configure properly you have to check that stp different types of stp should be compatible with each other right for example one side you are running cst and another side pvst so you know cst and pvst are not compatible with each other but in my case same protocol is running both side i am running r pvst rapid explanatory protocol so just just ignore this one otherwise you can here say incorrect correct stp mode mix mixing right and the number five reason can be the physical connectivity issue right if there is issue of physical cable physical connectivity issue it means a damaged port port is damaged unidirectional link or a faulty interface can stop bpdu flow right the trunk looks up but bpdu will not get exchanged bpdu do not pass from the trunk link okay so these are the common issues because of that you will find multiple switches are acting as a root bridge now let's fix it let's verify it and fix it first for VLAN, other vlan let's say for vlan 20 for vlan 20 you can see which switch is a root bridge switch number one is root bridge and let me take you to switch number two and let me see for vlan 20 also it is saying root bridge or not vlan 20 no you can see for vlan 20 here is the root bridge id and here is the bridge id information for for vlan 20 everything is working fine so issue is only for vlan 10 let's verify it why let me verify the vlan first so vlan brief vlan 10 is present in the vlan database and status is also you can see active at least one interface should be there in vlan 10 right if there is no any user in vlan 10 again switch one is not going to send bpdu 
right so i have trunk link as well as you can see g0 slash 3 is in vlan 10 right this interface is in vlan 10 that means there is one member in vlan 10 now on switch number two also let me verify these all things so vlan brief here also you can see vlan 10 is there but i don't have any interface in vlan 10 but trunk link is there so interface trunk you can see all the villains are allowed here encapsulation protocol is isl even you can change the encapsulation protocol here interface g uh, 0 slash 1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1 q right i have changed the encapsulation dot 1 q go to switch number 1 and verify here native vlan now so interface trunk so here you can see native vlan is 1 on switch number 1 on switch number 2 also so interface trunk here also native vlan is 1 encapsulation protocol dot 1 q it is matching same right here you can see with the help of negotiation status is trunking both side but here on switch number one you can see vlan 10 is not allowed on the trunk link right so this is one this is one reason why both the switches are showing root bridge why both the switches are saying i'm the root bridge so vlan 10 is not allowed on the trunk link of switch one so switch one cannot send any traffic of vlan 10 from the trunk link you have to add vlan 10 on this trunk link interface g0 slash one and switch port trunk allowed vlan and add vlan add vlan 10 and now check so interface trunk now you can see all the vlans are allowed here and so is spanning tree here you can see this switch is the root piece let me take you to switch number two now switch two should receive bpdu and this time let me show you vlan for vlan 10 now you can see for vlan 10 it is not saying i am the root bridge right now you can see root bridge id is this one and bridge id information is different got it guys for vlan 10 now for vlan 10 only switch one is your root bridge right now if you want to practice more these kinds of scenario you can configure different native vlan here and then see what is the impact right because in real time network in the production network engineer perform these kinds of tasks only right and this can be your hands-on so today just i have discussed a basic and common but very important real-time net enterprise network troubleshooting scenario most of the time you will find these kinds of issues in network multiple switches are showing active in hsrp in vrp multiple switches are showing root bridge right and this can be the reason so and one more thing there is no any logic of learning theory or understanding theory if you are not performing the lab right so design these kinds of topology remove vlan and then check both the switches are acting as a root bridge configure different native vlan if native vlan is mismatched check which kind of error you are getting and troubleshoot it right and that this way if you will work if you will learn right and if you are the flower of pm networking if you are following subscriber that means i am expecting you all have the evng software for lab practice and you guys are performing the lab whatever topics you are learning from pm youtube channel you are performing the lab because net networking is practical right 100 percent practical we are learning theory only so that we can perform lab even our all the live classes are 100 percent practical and if you want to learn these types of scenarios vlans right enterprise lan network wan network stn based networking then check our ccna plus ccnp combo course once right our combo course is designed to teach you the modern enterprise network from scratch okay so this was a small scenario i have discussed hope it is clear to you if this scenario was helpful for you if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have any another scenario because one of my student has shared this scenario with me and i thought to make one video on it if you also have any real time scenario please share with me i will make video on that and it can help others as well thank you so much for watching that's all for today we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye